Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm actually recreating one of my most popular videos like to date. It's my most popular, it's my most reviewed video and that is my celebrity perfume video. That video I think currently is at like almost 50,000 views which is crazy for my channel because I only have like two and a half thousand subscribers so for a video to get up to like 50,000 is like mind-blowing to me and i really did not expect that video to do as good as it did and thank you guys for clicking on that video and watching it and leaving your feedback but in this video i am going to be showing you 10 more celebrity perfumes these are some really really popular celebrity perfumes that get talked about all throughout youtube they are some fan favorites a lot of these are also some perfumes that you guys have requested in my comments for me to try so i'm gonna review them for you here today i was gonna do like a full roundup of all of my celebrity perfumes and include my past ones but then i'm like i already have a video for that so i didn't want it to be repetitive so if you want to see the celebrity videos like the other half you can click right up here and it'll take you to that video and you can see the other half of this which are like my perfumes right here but these are all like strictly my new ones i'm going to be rating them telling you what i like about them what other people like about them what they get compared to i have a new setup behind me let me know if you guys like this or if you prefer my old setup i'm also going to be telling you where i got every single one of these perfumes i did find all of these in store i hate ordering things online as i've mentioned in previous videos a lot of these i got at like discount stores like ross tj maxx marshall's uh burlington i love burlington i've been finding some really good perfumes and i think out of all the discount stores i feel like burlington has the best and lowest prices so if you have a burlington near you definitely go check that out before you hit up your like marshalls and ross honestly most of these are all apart from like a couple they're all like under 20 bucks so this video is going to be part one of a part two little series that i have going on and i'm so excited for this because i am actually going to be having my fiance rate all of these celebrity perfumes including the ones up there that i've um, shown in previous videos i'm gonna have him smell every single one of these so i'm definitely gonna make sure to have some coffee with me but he has agreed to it and i'm really excited to make him smell every single one of those and give you guys a rating so that you guys know like from a male perspective what a man thinks on all these celebrity perfumes we're gonna be filming that video within the next couple days and after editing and all that it should be up in like the next three days i would say so yeah definitely be on the lookout for that i'm so so excited to be filming that video so with all that being said let's get into this video so, i'm gonna start off with probably the most controversial out of all of the perfumes that i have here this is adam levine i don't know the name i think it's just adam levine that's the name. I found this at Burlington for $9.99, literally 10 bucks for a perfume. Like, what? They had actually put this in the men's section, and it was kind of just camouflaged with the men's cologne because, you know, usually the women's fragrances are, like, super colorful with flowers everywhere and all of that, and then the men's perfumes are, like, black and white and, like, just boring looking and they had put this over there so i was like i don't know why i like skimmed over there but this caught my eye and i saw this said adam levine and i'm like oh is that like a cologne for men but then i looked at it and i turned it to the back and i see that it says for her in the back and i'm like oh that is the perfume that jeremy fragrance talks about the reason why this perfume has as much hype that it does like this perfume is so hyped up i think it's all because of jeremy fragrance basically he is a perfumer he's obviously super into perfume he's created his own perfumes so he's very familiar with perfume notes and ingredients he said that the sandalwood this is a very heavy sandalwood sort of fragrance and he said that the sandalwood in this is like a very expensive smelling sandalwood that he has smelled in like really really like niche high-end perfumes it was always kind of a perfume where i was like i'm gonna be on the lookout for it because if i find it i will buy it because he just he just does something that man really makes you buy perfume so this is what she looks like i feel like in pictures and stuff the liquid kind of looks more of like a light yellow or like just more clear and mine is like super like bright orange but that's because this does have vanilla and i think also the sandalwood it kind of turns after a while doesn't mean that it's bad but that's just what those notes do over time the fact that this is like the giant 3.4 ounce bottle for 10 bucks like are you joking where i stand with this perfume and what it smells like first off let me get into the notes so this has top notes of spices marigold saffron citruses middle notes of australian sandalwood 
Indian jasmine, rose petals, and base notes of a vanilla and benzoin. To my nose, this smells very powdery. I do think it's a little mature of a fragrance. Normally, celebrity perfumes are kind of geared toward like a younger audience because they want to like appeal to the masses, but I feel like this is a lot more mature smelling for a celebrity perfume. First of all, projection on this perfume insane like so one of the strongest celebrity perfumes this perfume lasts for hours and hours and hours and you do really have to be careful with how much you spray of this because she can get a little heavy to me this smells very leathery in a way I can definitely smell the sandalwood. I can definitely smell the vanilla in this. It is very, very sweet. If you don't like strong and sweet scents, I don't think this is the one for you. I don't exactly love this fragrance, but I also don't hate it, weirdly. The perfume that this gets compared to is Tom Ford Santal Blush, and that's a very expensive perfume compared to the $10 price point of this. This is an insanely strong sandalwood, like predominantly sandalwood and vanilla kind of mixture, but that sandalwood really is like the star of the show i don't recommend wearing this during the summertime i can just see how that would be so nauseating i think this will be really nice for the fall and winter time because it is like that thick super like warm sort of fragrance it kind of just like envelops you but the fact that this smells like an oriental like niche high-end sandalwood perfume is honestly incredible for the price point because it really really does smell high-end and just really unique do i think it's worth it i think it does smell expensive so i will give it that and yes it's worth a shot because you might really love it but just a fair warning if you're not into sweet powdery heavy sandalwood like leathery woody type of scents this is not going to be your girl and rating wise i think i would give that like like a 4.5 out of 10 even though like i know that that's a low rating but i don't know i really 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 have to be in the mood for that because if you wear that especially if you overspray that you just might get sick okay so the next celebrity perfume is one that actually hasn't really been talked about in a while i feel like and i saw this at burlington for 12.99 or something like that insane super cheap and this is Justin Bieber girlfriend. This is the ginormous 3.4 ounce bottle. The box for it is literally huge. I haven't really heard anybody talk about this in a long time. I feel like this perfume was like popular back in like the Mac Barbie Juicy Star 07 era of YouTube where these perfumes were like raved about and people loved like Justin Bieber and that was like a huge fan base and people like died over everything that he came out with. This has a very interesting packaging to me this looks like a slinky it actually like squishes it down like a slinky but it kind of has the same thing going on um that like the ariana grande fragrances have where it's like this outside component and then you take it out so the actual perfume looks like this outside the bottle it's kind of like a heart shape i actually really really love this perfume it's like a really easy to wear light and airy sweet sort of fragrance it's not a sweet fragrance it's gonna make you like have a heart attack or a heat stroke like that adam levine one will this has top notes of blackberry big strawberry mandarin orange and pear middle notes of apricot um pink freesia star jasmine orange blossom and base notes of vanilla orchid musk and white amber so it's like a very fruity sweet sort of a scent this smells like a lot of different um celebrity fragrances this kind of smells like pink friday this kind of smells like taylor swift wonderstruck which i loved actually and i have not been able to find that perfume anywhere i don't want to order it online i'm trying to find it in stores but i haven't been able to but i just remember owning that when i was younger and it was like my it was actually my only perfume but it was one of my favorites i really really liked it you can definitely smell like the strawberry and the orange in this in the opening it does have that like fruity fresh sort of feel and then once it dries down the vanilla orchid and like just the sweeter scents kind of mix with the fruits and it settles into like a really really sweet creamy almost like marshmallowy vibe it kind of has the vibes of like ariana grande sweet like candy or ari where it's like that I don't know, just really sweet, marshmallowy, kind of sugary sort of fragrance. Let's be real, there's nothing like unique and crazy about this, but if you want to smell good on a daily basis, like just really sweet and girly, then this is a really good go to. And for the price point, you can't go wrong. Rating wise, I would give it like 
an 8 out of 10 just because it smells really good but it kind of lacks originality for me when you smell it you're like okay this could be justin bieber girlfriend but it also could be like 20,000 other perfumes this next perfume is a perfume that i actually overpaid for because i really needed to have this fragrance i watch curly scents here on youtube and she has this kind of series where she has guys like review famous fragrances she's had a few of those videos like i think some of her older videos were like just guys reviewing some of like the most popular perfumes and then like the sexiest perfumes and then recently she just posted this video of guys reviewing celebrity perfumes so that's how i got the idea to kind of film this video and to also kind of film it with my fiance because i knew that i had told you guys a while ago that i've been wanting to do like my fiance rating my perfumes and all you guys were giving me really good feedback on that out of all of the perfumes that they rated in that video some like really really popular celebrity perfumes their best rating was on this perfume right here they both gave it like a 10 out of 10 they were like dying over this fragrance they loved it they were just gassing up this perfume so much and i was like i need that in my life and i felt like i had seen this in ross's before or something like that and i went and hunted it down and i could not find it anywhere no discount store whatsoever i went to ross tj maxx marshall's burlington i even went to bell's which i didn't even know had discontinued fragrances but that's another place that you can find discontinued fragrances so if you have a bell's near you usually bell's is kind of near these ross and marshall's locations it was nowhere to be found so i went and hit up my little kiosk i always talk about this kiosk in like all of my videos but when i'm trying to find a discontinued perfume that i cannot find anywhere that's where i go but the only problem is i know that if i go there i will overpay and she was like yes i have it it's the only one i've been able to find for a long time and it's the only one i have in stock and she had the full like 3.4 flan ounce bottle this is the mariah carey m perfume looks like this it has a little picture of her in the back i am so sure that at one point i have seen this pop up at ross um or like these discount stores I feel like I remember so vividly seeing it, but so many times I walk past these fragrances, like not giving it a second thought. And then later on, I'm like, oh, I want to get that. And then it's gone. So that's what sucks about all these discount stores is that things come and go all the time. It looks like this. I'm going to be honest, the packaging and everything of it looks very like childish, cheapy and like tacky to me. Like it's like this purple bottle is a glass bottle, but then like this cap is like a butterfly. Look wise, it's not looking appealing to me but the scent of this i love me a fragrance that has marshmallow in it anything that has marshmallow my killian love don't be shy all of my ariana grande perfumes there's something about marshmallow that guys go crazy over it. that note like just the sweetness of it i don't know what it is not just guys i love it too like it's probably my favorite fragrance note the top notes are marshmallow and seawater it has middle notes of tiara flower and gardenia and then base notes of incense amber and patchouli now based off of the vibes that this gives you in the packaging you would think this is like a soft girly you know your typical celebrity fragrance kind of like that ariana grande vibe where it's like a really appealing super like i don't know girly girl sort of a fragrance but the packaging on this is so deceiving because it is not that at all this is like a sexy grown up mature in mature in a really good way i recently smelled the dolce and gabbana pour femme which is another marshmallow perfume and that perfume kind of smells like my killian love don't be shy and it also kind of smells like this a little bit but this has like an added floral note this is actually like almost a spot on dupe for another celebrity perfume that i'm about to show you guys in a minute so i'll tell you that when i get onto that one it's super sweet but also floral and it's like a very very sexy mature grown-up boss lady sort of um fragrance it's also a little bit powdery i would say it's just a really pretty like incensey marshmallowy goodness and it's a really unique perfume for a celebrity fragrance it does not smell like a celebrity fragrance at all it smells like a designer perfume to me it's a really just good mixture of florals and sweet where nothing is overpowering 
but I do feel that mostly it's a very sweet sort of scent. Almost ties with some of like my designer perfumes that I use on a daily. I feel like this is going to become one of those for me because I love, it's a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. I cannot wait to see what my fiance is gonna rate that with. It's a very elegant scent that definitely packs a punch. It has really, really insane staying power for a celebrity fragrance. It has really good projection. Oh God. It's very ambery and sensual and sexy. And then vanilla and marshmallow. -y. Like uh, all of those just sound absolutely delicious to me. If that sounds good to you, definitely give that one a try. In my book, I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. This is going to become a staple, I feel like, in my perfume collection. And I have so many ideas in mind for what fragrance mists I want to uh, pair this up with because lately I've been really into mixing my Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret scents with my perfumes and just creating like a really, really nice cocktail and i have gotten requests for me to film those types of videos because i told you guys a while ago that i would and those videos are coming the next celebrity perfume is one that was honestly kind of like a stupid buy for me i was like you know what i've seen this everywhere and i've never picked it up this is britney spears curious i don't know which because i know that she's come out with so many perfumes I think this is one of the first ones she came out before she even released like the fantasies. This does not smell at all like what you think a Britney Spears perfume would smell like. There is a fuzz. And usually all the perfumes that I've tried from her, well, I've only tried two perfumes for her and that's my fantasy and then my midnight fantasy, which are two very, very sweet candy light sort of scents. And I was expecting kind of the same vibe from this, but once I read the notes and I read what people were saying, I was like, that is different for Britney Spears. This is not the original bottle. They have changed. I think they might have reformulated it. I'm not sure, but they have changed the bottle. It used to have like little charms and everything. Picked this one up at Ross for like 10 bucks. It was very cheap, but it is the one fluid ounce version. So if you like a fresh floral fruity sort of scent, this is it for you. There is not much sweetness in this. I would definitely categorize this as a very fresh type of scent. But let me tell you guys the dupe that I think this smells almost identical to. When I look at the section that people do like comparisons, this perfume that this reminds me of completely is not mentioned. This smells strikingly similar to my J'adore by Dior. It smells like this, but like a watered down version of this. So if you're trying to get the same sort of scent on a budget, this is definitely a really, really good option. It doesn't last all that much. I did wear it and it only lasted me for like a couple hours and then I couldn't really smell it after that. But granted, I only did like a couple sprays. But as far as the notes, this has top notes of magnolia, pear, and lotus. Middle notes of jasmine, tuberose, and cyclamen. And base notes of musk, vanilla, whitewoods, and sandalwood. I don't smell any of like the sandalwood and like woody notes in this at all. I do smell a little bit of musk and vanilla, but I definitely smell the florals. If you're looking for that, like the same sort of like, I don't know, sexy, womanly, elegant sort of vibe, I would definitely uh, pick that one up. I think I've seen bigger bottles of it at like TJ Maxx or something like that, but this definitely will not go for more than like 20 bucks. So if it does, then you're overpaying. Rating wise, I would give this like a five out out of 10 because I'm more of like a sweet lover. I love like the marshmallowy, sweet candy sort of scents. And this is like very fresh for me, but it does smell good. Um, it's just a little boring for my taste personally. Okay, this next perfume, I I feel like I had seen this before. I think I was watching uh, Chloe Yasmin. I love her channel. She does like hygiene sort of type of videos. And I was watching her channel and she was going through like her perfume collection. And she showed this perfume. This is Riri from Rihanna. So this is one of like her original perfumes that she came out with. I I think it's the first one um, because afterwards she came out with like Crush and something else. I think it's Kiss that are like in the same bottle and stuff like that. But I don't know if those are like flankers of this. I, I'm pretty sure this is the original one that she came out with. And then after that, you know, Rebel Fleur, Nude and all that came out. But this is like her original. And I was watching Chloe's video and she she said that this smelled very close to pink chiffon, which I actually have right here. Pink chiffon from Bath & Body Works. I have the body cream. Now, if you guys know the real OGs, if you guys love Bath & Body Works as much as I do, the semi-annual sale is coming up on Monday. I'm so excited. I'm literally going to be there like 
opening time and this will be like it is confirmed that this is one of the scents that they are bringing back so i can't wait because in the last semi-annual sale i was only able to find the body cream so i can't wait to find the spray of that because that will be so good to pair up with this because they're literally the exact same scent this is what riri looks like after i saw that video i went on a hunt for this perfume and i was so sure i had always seen it at burlington and the time that i went i went to like two different ones they didn't have it when i'm not looking for perfume i see all the perfume in the world and then when i'm looking for a specific one i can never find it and i actually just re resorted to going to walmart because i actually found a little one fluid ounce at walmart um so i went to walmart picked it up there but as you can tell this is not the one fluid ounce and that is because i randomly went to bell's which i have never been to and that is how I discovered that Bells actually has discontinued fragrances. And I saw this. It was like one of, they were like wiped out. They barely had any fragrances left. But this was like one of the only ones they had in the 3.4 fluid ounce. And this was like I think $25.99. I feel like it was a little high for what normal discontinued stores sell this for i was gonna get it nonetheless because i actually ended up paying like 22 dollars or 23 dollars for the one fluid ounce at walmart so definitely don't get this at walmart check for those stores before you go there this is one of my fiance's favorite scents on me ever when i sprayed this because i was with him he was like oh my god he was obsessed with this perfume if you guys know what this smells like pink chiffon this is it but in like a concentrated perfume form as far as fragrance notes this has top notes of passion fruit rum mandarin orange and cassis middle notes of honeysuckle pink freesia orange blossom and jasmine with base notes of vanilla siam benzoin musk and sandalwood really all i get from this is straight up pink chiffon it's a really 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 sweet fruity scent really sort of like bubbly and upbeat weight it's super girly definitely like a immature scent not in a bad way but like a younger sort of scent and i can definitely smell that rum in there kind of smells like cotton candy to me i feel like this will go really well with pink sugar from aquilina it's like the same sort of like sugary sweet cotton candy vibe but this is even sweeter than aquilina it has like i don't know it has a, a fruitier vibe than aquilina i guess it's the passion fruit that really brings that out of this fragrance and really does it for me rating wise 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 no other thoughts literally just 10 out of 10 this is definitely definitely my vibe and definitely what i'm gonna go for if i just want to smell like a sweet sugary snack okay. the next fragrance is one that you guys have actually recommended me to try and you guys have been really wanting me to do uh, reviews on these fragrances i actually have three of them all three are flankers of the original these are beyonce perfumes so i've gotten so many comments from you guys telling me to try out beyonce perfumes like the beyonce like heat line she has a million flankers of the original heat i don't have the original heat but i have a bunch of the flankers that i was able to find at different stores so the first one that i found was this right here this is beyonce heat rush this you can find at burlington every single burlington that i went to i've seen this at so i think this is like you can find it there right now and it was like 12.99 this is what this looks like super cute bottle this is the 100 ml um 3.4 fluid ounce bottle perfect summer scent if you're going to the beach to the pool this is like a tropical going on vacation sort of a scent is so 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 beautiful definitely gives me vibes of like a bath and body works body spray that i smelled before and that's not necessarily a bad thing that's just to say it doesn't really smell like your typical perfume but it has such an amazing tropical vibe to it it has top notes of again passion fruit just like that riri one i think that passion fruit is what makes all these perfumes smell really bubbly passion fruit is just a beautiful note to make a perfume super sweet and kind of edible in a really like fruity sugary kind of way i love passion fruit and fragrances so yeah passion fruit blood orange and cherry i definitely can smell a little bit of that cherry in this has middle notes of mango blossom orchid and hibiscus and then base notes of amber musk and teak wood based off of those notes when i read them before i bought it i was like yeah i'm gonna love this 
and I do it's been compared to a lot of Escada perfumes because Escada perfumes a lot of them have this like very fresh fruity tropical-y sort of vibe it actually has pretty good longevity it's not bad on the longevity at all this smells incredible to me perfect summer fragrance I'm gonna be doing my summer perfumes video here soon and this will definitely be included in that this is definitely a perfume you need to bring with you on vacation rating wise I would give it like seven and a half out of ten just because like i said i do really like it it's an amazing 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 scent to smell good but it lacks a little bit of that like perfumey expensive vibe that i'm kind of looking okay, for two more beyonce perfumes i was able to pick up this little set from kohl's it was 21.99 for both of these they are the one fluid ounce so they're not like the huge bottles but you do get two of them so i'm gonna start off with this one this is beyonce heat kissed so again a flanker of the original heat this is the perfume that i was talking about that reminds me of exactly this perfume the mariah carey m it smells almost identical to it initial spray wise it doesn't really smell that similar but the dry down is literally almost like the same perfume so this has top notes of mango lychee and pitaya um middle notes of orchid moroccan rose and jasmine sandback and base notes of vanilla patchouli and sandalwood so they're very different on the notes but somehow they both give me the same sort of vibe this one is a little bit more fruitier whereas this one's a little sugary and more sweet i guess because of that marshmallow note this has also been compared to i think this is rebel this is the rihanna rebel let me smell Mmm, smells a little bit similar, but I don't know. They're kind of like the same vibe, but they do smell very different to me. So I don't, I don't think that those are necessarily dupes. Very sensual, dark, perfect, like date night sort of a scent. It's like a woody vanilla patchouli sort of vibe, but it's a patchouli done in a really good way. It's not a dirty patchouli where it smells gross, like dirt. I hate patchouli, like done like that. Heck no. And then the next one, this guy right here has my heart. I love this perfume so much. This is Heat Orchid. When I first saw like Heat Orchid, I was expecting this to be very floral, fresh. The scent that I don't love, but oh my god. This is one of my favorites out of all these perfumes. This is a definite summer perfume. It has coconut in it. I didn't even need to look at the notes to know that this has coconut in it because I think out of everything that's probably the main thing that stands out for me in this it has top notes of coconut nectar poison berry pomegranate I, I feel like pomegranate is such an amazing note like such an underrated fragrance note it smells so good in fragrance mist it smells amazing in perfumes it smells amazing i don't know what it is but every time i wear a perfume that has pomegranate in it my fiance like game over and then this has middle notes of Butterfly, Orchid, Honeysuckle, and Magnolia with base notes of Amber, Musk, and White Woods. So I absolutely love this. I think out of most, I get Coconut, but it's a beautiful Coconut. It's not like a sunscreeny Coconut vibe. kind of smells like an alcoholic drink, like a tropical alcoholic drink that you get on like vacation. And then it has that Amber. Amber also is like a sensual note to me that just makes any perfume like insanely sexy this is definitely like a man eater sort of a scent highly recommend this has been compared to hypnotic poison by dior personally i don't see it at all i think this is one of my favorites out of her, her whole line or at least the ones that i've tried so far definitely 10 out of 10 no doubt about it so the next two perfumes are two kkw perfumes the first one is this guy right here i bought this a while ago at ulta i don't know if they still sell this but i completely forgot to show this to you guys when it came out but oh my god this is amazing one of my favorite kkw fragrances ever summer fragrance first of all you cannot wear this at any other time because it straight up smells like the beach it has this like coconutty beachy sunscreeny vibe but not in a bad way like i know the bad kind of sunscreen smell and this is not it this is done so well i love this so much that i literally immediately bought a backup right after i bought this because normally these kkw scents come and go from ulta and um i definitely didn't want to not ever have this again this was like 40 bucks pretty like inexpensive it's not too bad even though it is a one fluid ounce this has top notes again of coconut nectar same 
way that this has um i guess i love coconut nectar like i like it more than straight up coconut coconut nectar smells more expensive to me than just coconut top nose of coconut nectar white currant lemon i don't smell any lemon in this like at all it kind of gives me vibes of like my bronze goddess more of a coconutty version of my bronze goddess my bronze goddess i feel like is a little heavy this is a little lighter than that one and i really really love this tiare flower orange blossom base notes of amberwood vanilla bean and musk it kind of has mixed reviews like some people say that this smells like straight up sunscreen i definitely see the vibe but i don't know this smells so sexy to me this is gonna be my perfume for today. This smells like literally you're a bronze goddess. You just came up from the beach. Kind of gives me the same vibes of this, honestly, but this is not as tropical. This is tropical and beachy, but this is that even more because it also has this like sunscreeny vibe to it. But personally, I love that. If you don't love the sunscreen vibe, maybe don't pick that one up, but I absolutely love it. It's so like vanilla-y. It's just like coconut nectar, vanilla, that's all I need. I haven't been a fan of coconut for a very long time. I used to love it and then I started hating it because I just felt like it smelled cheap and just not great. But I do love it in some specific forms and that is definitely one that I absolutely love. Rating wise, I would give that like a 9 out of 10. Okay, last scent is one of my absolute favorites. Definitely did not expect to fall in love with this perfume as much as I did. But wow, this is KKW Body 2. This packaging is so over the top and I'm obsessed with it. Look how it opens up. You open up like this and then, oh my God. Literally, I wanna keep this perfume just because of this packaging. Looks like this. We got her big luscious booty in the back. <laughs> am, I, am I gonna get demonetized for this? Beautiful fragrance bottle. Let's first get into the notes. So top notes, this is again hitting us with this coconut nectar. Again, I'm obsessed with coconut nectar. I'm just finding that out right now. I didn't realize that all these fragrances that I'm like obsessed with all had coconut nectar in them. I'm starting to realize I love me some coconut nectar. So yeah, coconut nectar in the top, neroli, mandarin orange, and bergamot. It has manoi oil, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and jasmine for middle notes, and then base notes of coconut milk, musk, and ambrette. So in this, I do pick up on that coconut, but it's not a coconut in a sunscreeny vibe. It's mixed with the florals where it makes this like a very florally coconut but it is giving me summer vibes like it's definitely a summer perfume the top uh perfume that this is compared to is tom ford Ude soleil blanc which is a very popular perfume again a very high-end perfume that people love it's a really really pretty summer scent and it's super long lasting it smells really good mixed with like your body chemistry it just transforms and it's just amazing it's so good my fiance he will literally come and like sniff at my neck every time i wear it he always gives me compliments because you know with men like sometimes you pray you spray something and no matter how strong it is they will just not say anything but with this every time i wear it i've noticed like every single time he always points it out it's giving me expensive perfume vibes like definitely expensive perfume vibes it does not smell cheap at all and it actually is pretty inexpensive it was like 60 bucks for the 3.4 so very good price this does have that coconut nectar and like i said summery beachy vibe but it's not too beachy to the extent where i feel like this would be okay to wear spring fall and winter maybe a little less in those um months but i wouldn't necessarily say that this is strictly summer for me this gives me vibes of like you just went to the beach you showered you're going out to dinner fresh from the beach sort of skin and like that aroma that like your skin radiates this smells like that if you're going on vacation bring this for like a date night sort of a fragrance i feel like the other ones that had the coconut and were very be beachy are like more daytime this is like a perfect straight off the beach nighttime day date like sexy so cute i would give this straight up 10 out of 10 this is so good to me definitely like one of my most complimented scents out of this bunch and i just can't find anything that i don't love about it so 10 out of 10 all the way so the last perfume i'm going to share i've actually already included this in my celebrity perfume video 
but I got rid of it after that. I think I ended up returning it, but I found myself missing it a lot. I was like, I really want to go back to that. I don't even know why I returned it. It was not like my like ultimate favorite and I didn't see that I was using it much. So I was like, let me return it because I had bought like the full uh, like 3.4 fluid ounce. But after that, I just found myself really missing the scent. Ended up rebuying it. So this is the REM from Ariana Grande. I picked it up in the one fluid ounce version because i don't know i feel like this will be a really good mixing scent with some of my body sprays i actually made like a whole like when this first came out i made a whole video uh like reviewing this scent so if you want to see that i'll link it up here kind of has the same vibe a little bit of cloud and like that like cold sort of scent i don't really know how to describe it but the lavender in this which is like the main note star of the show in this just makes this so beautiful and gives it like almost a cologne sort of a vibe this mixed with like a really sweet uh scent would make this even better because this is sweet but i need something more sugary to kind of balance it out that's why i bought it because i think mixed with that type of scent this will be so good it has top notes of zephyr caramel zephyr is like a really sugary sweet uh, pastry or dessert caramel fig salt keens middle notes of lavender pear blossom and base notes of tonka bean musk and sandalwood i think out of all the notes i think that lavender really stands out to me normally i'm not a huge fan fan of lavender but the way that it's done in this is so unique and i feel like lavender is not a typical fragrance note i think this smells super 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 high end especially for a celebrity perfume and longevity is really good on this as well okay, so the last things i'm going to include in this video are not like actually perfumes but i got some body sprays that are perfume body sprays i love body sprays because i love layering my scents if you layer up your scents like your lotions your body spray and then your perfume and then you repeat that your scent will last forever even if you have a perfume that doesn't really last if you do that you will really get the best and the most out of your perfume and you'll be able to smell it all day um i can make a whole video on that but anyways the first one I picked up was Riri, so I picked this up obviously to go with my Riri perfume. It smells exactly like it. it. smells exactly like pink chiffon. And this was $6.99 at Ross. Then, oh, when I saw this, I was like, oh my god. I always see the J.Lo Glow body mist at Ross, but I saw Miami Glow and I almost freaked out. Miami Glow is one of my all-time favorite, like, probably if I had to pick, like, top five perfumes out of my entire collection that i've ever smelled in my entire life miami glow is like at the top like just unbeatable one of the best summer scents i've ever smelled it's up here i have like two backups of it oh my god this unbeatable i get countless compliments on this i absolutely love it so when i saw the body spray i was like say no more i'm going to um layer this with that so good and the last body spray is this i actually don't own the perfume of this but i did actually see it at ross a couple days ago although i didn't pick it up because i don't know i don't i liked it but i don't love it i'm fine with just the body spray this is Nicki minaj onika so this has coconut in it and that's really what i'm smelling it reminds me honestly of riri like if riri had coconut in it it would smell like this it has that same really sweet candy fruity vibe that riri has or pink chiffon but if that had like a coconut in it it would smell exactly like this it smells really really good i do really like that as well that is it for this ginormous celebrity fragrance video i hope you guys liked this video let me know which of these fragrances you have i would love to hear your feedback so let me know in the comments please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications and i will see you guys in my next video bye